Hello, I'm Amy Blaylock. Welcome to City Hall this week. It's that budget time of year and city leaders are beginning the process of developing a spending plan for the 2014-2015 fiscal year. During a planning retreat on February 20th, the city administration and elected leaders received financial projections for the coming year. One of the topics discussed was the possibility of a 1.29 cent increase in the city's tax rate on every $100 of assessed property value. That would cost the owner of a $150,000 home an additional $19.35. Even with that increase, the budget gap going into the process for this year would still be about $4.3 million. Council members also received information on a possible penny for parks addition to the city's property tax rate. This additional revenue would go toward maintenance and renovations, added employees and equipment, and buying land for future parks. A second retreat where the budget development guidelines will be adopted will be held on February 28th. The budget will be adopted in June. If you're ready to buy your own home and want to be a part of the revitalization of Durham's Southside community, here's some information you'll want to know about. Southside is a great development. Um, it is so close to everything that is fun downtown. It's affordable. There are incentives for buyers. You don't have to be a first-time buyer. It can, and there's all sorts of great incentives that the city has in place for um, moderate-income families and it's just it's going to be a great great community. The south side location being only two blocks away from the American Tobacco Campus, uh, the DPAC, uh, and the Durham Athletic Park is, uh, is as good as it gets. 48 craftsman style homes are being built in south side by two developers, Andrew Roby Homes and B. Wallace Design and Construction. At least 25 of those are reserved for households with incomes in the $32,000 to $60,000 range. All of the homes are now being pre-sold so their future owners can have a say in everything from the floor plan to the amenities that are included. We offer a variety of floor plans for a variety of lifestyles. Um, we have one level as well as two level homes with three and four bedroom options. All our homes are designed to take the maximum use of space. They all have plenty of windows to allow for natural light as well as functional and flowing floor plans. Andrew Roby homes start around 1,200 square feet and the largest one is 1,456 square feet. We either have three or four bedrooms, two and a half to three baths. We have one that's a one level and the other seven are two level homes. We have eight floor plans. Anyone who purchases one of the homes at this point will also have the advantage of choosing the amenities that are included with the home. All our foundations are brick foundations. We have front porches, rock and chair front porches, um, architectural shingles, uh, all stainless steel appliances, open floor plans. All of these homes in Southside are going to be energy efficient. These homes include many finishes and features that you would find in much more expensive homes such as hardwood floors, site finish hardwood floors, granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, custom tile baths, but more importantly these features when they're combined they create an overall feeling of comfort and luxury. For more information about the special financing that's available and to see the various floor plans visit the websites listed on your screen. You can also visit the Community Development Department's homepage on the city's website. Are you throwing away unused and expired drugs? Stop! Don't throw them away in the trash can, flush them down the toilet, or pour them down the sink. Doing so could cause accidental poisonings, abuse, and harm to our environment. Statistics have shown that dozens of prescription and over-the-counter drugs have been found in the drinking water of an estimated 46 million Americans. Properly disposing of unwanted medication is simple and easy. 
Just drop them off in the lobby of the Durham Police Department headquarters at 505 West Chapel Hill Street. We've installed a permanent medicine drop box where you can throw away unwanted medications 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The permanent drop box is easy and convenient and you remain anonymous. So what are you waiting for? We'll dispose of the medicines in a safe and non-hazardous manner and you'll be keeping Durham a little safer. Welcome back. Good news for trail lovers and bicyclists. The long-awaited American Tobacco Trail Bridge over I-40 is now open. The new 270-foot-long pedestrian bridge is located just west of Fayetteville Road. The connection to the trail heading south is located in the parking lot near South Point Cinemas at the streets at South Point. With the bridge now completed, the American Tobacco Trail now extends from Highway 54 at Fayetteville Road to the Chatham County line and beyond. Now that spring is finally around the corner, many of you are starting to turn your thoughts to yard work. If you are a current customer of the city's curbside yardway service, don't forget that annual billing notices will be sent out in June. The fee remains the same at $60 plus $18 for the cart rental. If you're interested in getting this service, contact Durham One Call at 919-560-1200. You can also visit the Solid Waste Management Department's homepage on the city's website. Durham is also encouraging individuals to charge ahead with their efforts to go green. Charge Ahead Durham is a new program that makes it easy for residents to help the environment, save money, and win prizes while doing it. Participants can register at chargeaheaddurham.org and are then sent charges or tasks to complete each week. Once residents complete their assigned task, they report back to the site using words, a photograph, or video detailing their accomplishment. Each week, prizes from local and green businesses will be given to random winners whose chances to win are earned through their actions and posted responses. At the end of the contest, there will also be grand prizes as well. Again, that website is chargeaheaddurham.org. Durham and other Triangle cities and towns are on the short list for the ultra-high-speed Google Fiber broadband network. Improved broadband speed not only helps individual residents with faster download times, but helps businesses provide a higher quality and level of service to customers. The other regional cities listed in Google's announcement include Carborough, Cary, Chapel Hill, Charlotte, Garner, Morrisville, and Raleigh. That does it for City Hall this week. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And you can find us on demand on DTV8's webpage and on YouTube. I'm Amy Blaylock. Thank you for joining us.